This is Micah Miller, a familiar name on the MMA pro circuit, where he's known as Gumby, due to his long legs, lean frame, and uncanny flexibility. Miller, a member of the prestigious American top team, stands six feet tall, but competes at a mere 145 pounds. Being tall and explosive and flexible as well, with good power, yeah, you, you, you don't want to take anyone lightly like that. No. Micah's style is a penetrating combination of Thai boxing, jiu-jitsu, and Greco-Roman wrestling. But it's his hard work and quiet determination that makes him dangerous. Micah really does have the passion. He does have the, the ambition. He does have the desire. And that desire begins with a punishing seven-day-a-week training schedule. Mike often trains with his older brother Cole, a fellow American top team member and UFC fighter. Mike is probably one of the most determined people I know. I mean, the guy trains two to three times a day, every day. Just uh, eats, sleeps, and breathes fighting. That's about it. In addition, Micah puts himself through what some might describe as a superhuman strength and conditioning workout. Go, 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 go. Finish it, finish it. Some of the drills he does during this back-breaking time back. circuit include All power curls, grip dominators. When the head gets pulled down, this grip has to be very strong. Ab blast, kicks, four, sprawling four. and crawling, and the Versa climber. My role is simple. It's to make him bulletproof. That's it. Um, I believe that the training that we have uh, here at IHP... Uh, there you go. is so, so difficult out. that it's not possible to stay in your physical body yeah, and get through it. Working on his physical body is only part of the overall plan. There are people who, are, who, can, who can box and who can, who can tie box and wrestle and do jiu-jitsu, but it's the things you, you really don't see, the, the, the hard work, the you know, work ethic and strength and conditioning and really just having the heart and the desire. No doubt about it, the 21-year-old Miller who turned pro just two and a half years ago is intimidating to say the least, with an impressive record of 16 wins and two losses. In the two and a half years since you turned pro, what has been your hardest fight and why? My Cub Swanson fight. Um, I didn't prepare myself like, like a true professional should, and on top of that, he was a, a top-level opponent. I really just thought I was outgunned. He just kind of always was a step ahead of me. That fight was real heartbreaking, especially my first loss. You know, you learn from it and move on. Last August, Miller was knocked down in the first 50 seconds of a much-anticipated fight. The loss was a big disappointment for Miller, but it provided him an opportunity to refocus. I was trying to get up and, and keep fighting, and uh, you know, I, I only got hit about hit two times, and um, you know, Herb her Dean stopped it. He's, he's a good referee, and I respect him. Would you like to fight Grisby again? I'd love to fight Josh Grisby again. You know, no, no disrespect to him. You know, he, he did his job in the first fight, but. The, the, the way the fight panned out, you know, just, is, it, it wasn't what I was capable of. What he was capable of is to come back with a resounding win over Jason Palacios in his CQC fight last December. And, and saw that, you know, he had good takedown defense, he had good power, but uh, I knew he lacked in the submission game, so, um, you know, second round it came out and capitalized on the first mistake he made. And when Micah's not grounding and pounding his opponents, You'll find him pounding out tunes at home, playing rock band. It's pretty much what, what we do when, when we're not training. It's really just sitting back, relaxing, play some video games until it's time to go in again and then, uh, go to work. Whether he's working out or working an opponent in the octagon, Micah Miller is a name you'll want to remember. Micah Maverick! You'll see me with a belt around my waist. I don't know what belt, but a major world championship in five years. In Boca Raton, Florida, this is Susan Singari reporting.